Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to check your errors using debug mode in Android Studio. So here I have an application made by a viewer. I have created a tutorial on how to create a database related application and I have shown you how to create login and sign up activities and this viewer followed my tutorial and he got some errors so I'm going to show you how to fix them. So I have already launched this application on an AVD. If you don't know how to create a custom AVD then, then I have a tutorial on that. I'll put the link on the screen and also in the description bar below. When you run the application, you click on this button, which is for run. But now I have clicked on this button, which is for debugging the application. So just click on that button and select the emulator you want to run it on and you will get this. And first I'm going to click on sign up button. So it is opening. Now I'm going to insert some random value so suppose ASD 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 for every field I'm going to insert the same value with I don't forget it later and I'm going to click on sign up button now so nothing is happening so I think that it is inserting this into the database now I'll click on back button now I'll try to log in that user that we have just created. So put ASD in both the fields and click on login button. Now unfortunately employed we have stopped. So click on OK and here as we can see in the logcat tab we can see the errors. So fatal exception main could not execute method of act, method of the activity so here just scroll down and find this like uh, find something which is in blue color so click on that and here it is giving us the error so I'll see first when the passwords are equal it is creating an intent and it is passing main activity dot this the context and also the class name it is putting username string str is there so it is correct and it is starting the intent so I think it is correct I'll just see the import files so here this user uh, he has imported this android.view.display that's why but we have created a display class so since it is importing this class it is not taking our class which is for our uh, XML file I'll show you here these are the classes we have created a display class and these are the XML files so for this display.xml we have we are using this display.class but it is taking this one android.view.display so I'm just going to select it and delete this statement and now I'm going to run it again I'll just check if there are any errors so there are no errors for now I'm going to run it in debug mode again so the application is launched now as I have created a user before I'm going to use that information again so I'll just put ASD in both the username and password fields and I'm going to click on login button Again, we are getting this error. Unfortunately, employed me has stopped. So I'm going to see. Could not execute method of activity, and I'm going to scroll down when I till I get this blue colored error. So click on this button, click on this, and see. Here is the error. And main activity Java dot thirty three. Okay. So here get string call password index. So the query is select uname comma pass from table name. So 
whichever is first appearing here it will be given the index 0 and the second one will be 1 if there are more then it will be 2 3 4 etc so here it should be 0 for u name for password it should be 1 so it should be 0 here 1 and 1 I'm going to see what are the values for these variables so this viewer has created the variables here as I have said earlier the u name should be 0 and password should be 1 so we don't need to create the variables here but if you want to create these variables then you can also use these variables as it is just here we only need username and password that's why I have I have shown you it uh, shown you this query you can just replace it by star then you will get all the five uh, parameters that is id u name password so it will be 0 1 2 3 4 or you can leave it as it is and you can insert 0 1 and 1 here now i'm going to debug it again now the activity is launched again so i'm going to insert asd again and click on login button okay it stopped again so the error is here java in display or java class at line number 17 on line number 17 and attempt to invoke virtual method void android.widget.textview set text on a null object reference so it is saying that username is referring to a null object so string username get intent dot get string extra username so this is correct i'm going to check it in main activity raja i dot put extra username it should be as it is so u is capital and username so this statement is correct the next one is text view tv text view find view by id r dot id dot l u name so i'm going to open the corresponding xml file which is display.xml and I'm going to check the ID even if you get any errors or any doubts regarding Android application development then you can mail me your doubts and if you get any errors then also don't forget to attach your application and mail me at techacademy8 at gmail.com and I'll get back to you as soon as possible so here is the user has created a text field it should be text view but it's fine mm. and the id is tv username and he has used l uname so it should be tv username and since he has used text field it should be text uh, edit text not text view so I'm going to right, make it edit text, TV edit text. And we need to import that. So I'll just hit Alt Enter. Or you can also import it. So it is imported now. You can also type it and uh, import android.widget.edit text. Now, before debugging it again, I'm just going to check if there are any more errors. So, first is main activity.java class. I guess this is working perfectly. And I'm going to check database helper.java class. So these are the variables which are created. Table name is contacts, database name is contacts, or db, id, uname, pass, name, email. These are the indexes. And this is a query for creating a table. Create table contact. Okay. Here it is contact, but here, here it is contacts. And if there is 
in on upgrade method he has used table name so it will be contacts here also it will be contacts so it won't be able to search this so here we need to change it to contacts and save it id integer primary key not no okay this is correct then everything else seems correct so i'm just going to run it again but since i have changed it i need to close this adb and open it again so i am going to do that so first i am going to open android device monitor and here click on this button select the add you want to open and click on start and here select wipe user data so that everything uh, the tables and everything that are created will be wiped and now we'll wait for it to open so the emulator is launched now i'm going to run it in debug mode so click on this button and wait for the application to start so the application is launched now i'm going to click on sign up again because we have wiped off all the data and also there was an error that contacts class is not was not getting created so i'm going to insert demo this time in every field and now click on sign up button okay there is no error so click on the back button now and now we'll try to now we'll try to log in the user that we have just created so insert demo in username and password field and click on login button it is starting the display activity name demo as i have said earlier uh, it should be text view not text field because it is editable by the user but it is working now so this is how you solve your errors using debug mode i hope you have understood it and if you know java then you might be able to solve the errors if you don't know then you can solve those errors or you can also contact me so thank you for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like this video give it a big thumbs up bye